Hello crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creations. Welcome to week number two of the challenge that May May and I are doing in the month of May. Upcycling, bin to beauty. I was hoping to bring you the tutorial on this vase this week, but I ran out of paint when I made this one and I ordered some new paint, but it still hasn't arrived and I'm recording this video on Thursday. I waited and waited and waited and it's got to Thursday, it's still not here and I can't wait any longer because obviously this video needs to be up for Friday, which is obviously today, the day you're watching it. So, I've had to amend my plans, so I'm going to do something different. With this, as you can see I've got an, assort an assortment of... Um, used tins all nicely washed out now the thing with this that you need to make sure that both of your tins are the same so they can stack if you see this one has a different bottom to this one so these two won't stack you know safely whereas these two stack into each other and they sit very nicely because what i'm going to do today is if you've seen my pictures on Facebook you have seen the uh, the candle stands that I've that I've made so we're going to do one of these today a two tier candle stand using two um, tin cans so you will need two cans you'll need double sided tape you will need some thick masking tape or the thinner stuff if you'd like but the, I prefer the thicker one because it doesn't take as much to go around you'll need paint and probably twine and we'll take it from there so the first thing I'm going to do is using the using the double sided tape I always put a layer of double sided tape on before I put on the masking tape just to give it that extra stickiness that extra just so it could be so it has longevity. So I'm just going to cover this with double sided tape. Hope you're all well. Enjoying the uh, the new store. I hope. Please feel free to message me via private message on Facebook if you do have any questions, which a few, you know quite a few of you have. I'm happy to happy to answer them. If it gets to quite late in the evening, um, obviously because of the time difference, I won't be able to respond to your questions or your orders until the following morning. But I will do my best to answer your questions as soon as I can. And as at the moment, as I'm off work because of uh, the heart episode I had a couple of weekends ago, I'm currently off. I don't go back until Monday. I will be unavailable while I'm at work. So just to make you aware of that. But for a while, I think I'll just be doing one day a week just to get back into things slowly. Right, I'm going to peel all this, all this double-sided tape back. And then the next thing we're going to do is cover it with the uh, masking tape. Now you're probably wondering why I'm going to cover it with, with masking tape, but it gives, the, it gives the paint a better surface, a smoother surface to, uh, to go onto. One more. Obviously, be very careful with these because uh, I mean we're lucky where we have a um, 
uh, tin opener where it, this is all smooth and actually, you can actually put the lid on so it's almost like a lid there's some something gets a bit messy so obviously please take care um, when when using tin because it can cut your fingers and we don't want that happening do we right so get right up to the edge and start to cover it with the masking tape try and have it so it's as neat and as flat as possible overlap it slightly Hopefully the uh, the blue paint should be here by. It may, it may even come today, which is a uh, which is Thursday when I'm recording this. But obviously it takes time for me to record, edit, and then upload the uh, upload the video. So I couldn't wait any longer really. So I've had to do something else for you. But if the paint does arrive, I shall do the uh, do the peacock vase next week. paints and I'll be back in a second. I'm going to give this a base coat of the this pale blue um, water-based ready mix paint which I got from Tesco's which is a supermarket here. And I am literally just going to paint over the masking tape all the way around. I will do that, get it dry, and then come back to you. So I will see you soon. Okay crafters, welcome back. Right, I've given it two coats and it's dry. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the three shades of blue distress ink that I have. That's the faded jeans, the chip sapphire and the broken china. And I'm going to just literally just give, rub the inks over in very different places to give it a distressed look. A worn look. Most of this, most of this hand is going to be covered over by um, a piece of paper, which will have a nautical image stamped onto it. one side. Right, I'm going to use a, a plain piece of A4 paper. I'm going to be using the burlap stamp from um, Handy Hippo and that's the Just Right Cling. So I'm going to be using that. I'll be using my Fiskars stamp press. So just pop that on there. using the chipped sapphire stab this image out Stamping this 
lovely um, octopus. I'll be stamping him out, but he'll be embossed. So, get hold of my top boss embossing pad and emboss him. Make sure you give a good, good coverage. Stamp him on the burn up. Put those to one side. Grab a piece of paper to collect the embossing powder that falls off. And I'm sure you guys know which one I'm going to use. I'm going to be using the metallic brass. It's my favourite one out of the wows. back into the jar get my heat tool and emboss Good old trusted Mudge Podge. And adhere him to the center. So he'll go across there like that. So I'm gonna put some Mudge Podge on the back. to um, try and get out as many of the kinks as you can. Back to the heat gun to seal that. I'm covering the uh, the whole image with Mod Podge. I will cover the whole tin in Mod Podge once we do the blending. So I'm just going to dry the Mod Podge.
station a bit. Now going back to the uh, going back to the inks, I'm going to use the inks to kind of blend the the outer edge. I'm gonna try and blend it into the into the tin. To a degree. that part. Just move this mudge podge out of the way. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stop that from rolling, okay I'm going to stand it out for a second, is uh, attach the twine. Now I'm not going to expect you to watch me twist loads of twine around the top and bottom so I'll just get it started with you on camera and I just use a bit of um, Arlene's tacky glue to get it started just put some around the top I'm going to go down about an inch like I did with the other one I'll do the top one with you then I shall cut away and do the um, do the bottom now as it as I get to the top I need to apply more glue because it obviously it starts to taper inwards so you get a slant and it's 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 harder to um to grip onto some more glue now if you wanted you could carry on with this and put twine on the top on this bit which I will do I think I'll do that and then I will come back and show you what it looks like Okay, so that's that started. I will cut away and I will be back to show you the top and the bottom and the final the final item. So I'll see you again in a moment. Okay guys, the top is done and the top and the, the base and the top of the tins are done. And I have this really nice nautical washi tape which I'm going to use. It's got palm trees on it and boats and lighthouses and that type of thing as you can see but before that I'm going to put on this light blue one just around the underneath the twine start at the back so your seam is at the back follow the twine round oops try not to try not to tear it because you want it to be one continuous piece if I can get it off my fingers get off get off thank you Try again. Again, start on the back. Same 
everything on the bottom. I'll do is I'll give it a coat of Mod Podge, cover everything, the washi tape, the paint, the image, give it all a coat of washi tape, I mean of um, Mod Podge just to seal it all in. With this one I I glued some felt onto a piece of cardboard and I cut out the top and also the base which I'll do on the base for this one so all I did was put some felt glued it onto the cardboard drew around it and I used that as the base so there we have two candle holders made from tin cans and that's how they look that's one and that's two. So thank you for watching. I will see you again soon. Take care now. Bye bye.